guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself, what a wonderful So if you couldn't tell by the shirt, the makeup and everything, we are doing my fall project use it up introduction. I am so excited today you guys because I have all my fall products that I've been dying to use for pretty much the entire year. Um, I have them sitting in front of me. I have them by like scent category. I'm going to do like fun sets for the fall. I really have been thinking about this for a long time and I'm so excited to share with you guys what I will be using this fall. And this is not everything because I plan on using up some stuff and replacing it. I have a few Halloween things that I plan on putting in in October, but this is what I'm introducing the project with. So it is September 1st through, so we'll do September, October to November. And I will either change it around the week of Thanksgiving or December 1st for the winter project. So yeah, if you guys are excited to see what I will be using this fall, then just keep watching. I do want to quickly mention what my lipstick is just because I feel like you guys might want to know. This is the Maybelline For Me collection in the shade Spice For Me 370. It's a beautiful like burnt orange pumpkin spice color. It is my favorite pumpkin spice lipstick. And you know what? I'll just go ahead and Pull it up for you guys so you can see that oh my god i love it so much usually i'll kind of blot it but today i went super dark with it and then i also put this kylie lip gloss on top it's just like a red gold shimmer just to have some um some shimmer to the lips but yeah that is the lip combo for today now let's get into the products so i'm like not really carrying anything over from the summer i will start off with the few things that i am carrying over first one being white pumpkin and chai in the body lotion because i'm so close to being finished with it i honestly have like three more days of use left but we are right down to here and this is gonna start off the project with a great pumpkin-y start so that is the first thing the second thing i'm also keeping in is the peppermint essential oil aromatherapy lotion i love this stuff for hand lotion i keep it on my desk at work and it kind of just motivates me throughout the day. I love the peppermint scent. It keeps me like awake and invigorated. So this is what I'm putting in and it is right here on the bottle. So we're about, we have about a fourth left of the bottle. And the last thing I'm keeping in is the Sweet Whiskey Celestial Body Scrub. I am right about here on this bad baby and I love this scent. The notes on this are golden amber, vanilla infused liqueur, and sweet red berries. This is from last fall, and I don't believe they're coming out with this again this year, but it is such a nice relaxing scent. It is beautiful. I think that amber in there is just amazing, and I'm really looking forward to continuing using this up. All right, let's go into sets. I'm so excited to separate everything by sets this time. So the first set I have is a velvet cherry set using a few things from years past. Um, I don't think any of this stuff is new actually. I haven't bought any of the new fall body care in full size yet, um, but I do have this set first. So we're gonna use Velvet Sugar in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I love this scent. I had it, um, I was using it mainly in spring, but I think it's actually a really great fall transitional scent just because it's a, it's a great year round scent, but it definitely has like slight floral with a lot of berry in it. So that it would pair perfectly with Pink Velvet Cupcake which I just picked this up at SAS. I think it was like $2 or $2.50. Super excited to use this one because I used this one last fall and the fall before it. I am obsessed with Pink Velvet Cupcake. The notes on this are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. You guys don't even know. Ah, oh, it is such a beautiful berry, Berry Marshmallow Gourmand Scent. It is so yummy. So these two are gonna be great together. And then for shower gel, I'm putting in Sugar Cherry Crisp, which I'm also so looking forward to. I wish I had more backups of this one, but this is the last one that I have. The notes are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. So this one is from 2021 SAS, but this actually came out in 2020 fall. So this one makes me think of not in a bad way. Think of COVID like staying in the house and like being cozy for fall and showering with this in 2020 fall. I'm so excited to use this one because it really makes me feel super cozy. The notes on this one are bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. It is honestly just a cherry pie filling scent. It smells just like if you've ever had like the canned cherry pie, it smells exactly like that. So, so yummy. I cannot wait for this like velvet cupcake, velvet cherry cupcake scent. So this is the first 
scent um, combo. Now the next scent combo is Almond Blossom. I have all three items in the Almond Blossom line. I think they also have body cream, but I don't have that one yet. But this is Almond Blossom in the Fine Fragrance Mist. One of my oldest Fine Fragrance Mist actually from 2018. And as you can see, I've had it in many a projects and I have not successfully gotten through it. So I am determined to use this as often as I can. It is quite floral. So I might have a little bit of a problem with that, but I'm going to attempt to use this all the way up by the end of the year. Kind of a big goal for me because I don't use a lot of fine fragrance mist. So that's this one. And then I will read you the notes from the shower gel, I guess. Sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. So these two are brand spanking new. They um, both say 2021, but I did get them at the Summer SAS, I think for like $3 each. So here's the shower gel. Oh, I just love this packaging on it and like the see-through into the yellow shower gel. I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, it does say on the back notes of warm and cozy. So this is totally a fall scent. I love it. It is so like unique and classy and I just can't wait to finally have this in these different forms. I've only ever tried it in the mist, so I'm really excited to try the other two forms. And then we have the body lotion, which just comes in the opaque bottle. I really wish it was see-through because I'm not going to be able to track progress on this one. Um, but yeah, that is the Almond Blossom body lotion and excited to try this one as well. Okay, the next one is a little bit of a long shot, but this is an apple cider donut mix. Hear me out. Okay, so we have Cinnamon Donut Swirl from SAS of this summer. I have it in the body lotion, pretty much unused. I use it a few times. I considered returning this honestly because I'm not in love with it, but I do really like it in the body lotion. So I decided to keep it. I feel like this is going to be really nice. And then I also have the shower gel. Again, not a lot of use on this one. So I will be starting this one off pretty much unused. The notes on this are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. And then to go with our donut, we have to have some apple cider. So we have champagne, apple, and honey in the mini body cream. Now this one I actually have been using on my bedside table before I go to sleep. So I do have a little bit of progress. We're about halfway done with it already, but I love this scent every year, you guys. It is so just beautiful and it really has the best parts of champagne toast with like the best parts of a red gala apple. It is such an amazing scent that evokes fall for me and I love it. So I'm really excited to try these guys all together, see what I can come up with and see if it kind of fits to what I'm thinking. But along with this one, kind of random, but I am gonna put Bonfire Bash in. Again, this was in the summer project and I just wanna try and use it up with the donut products. I feel like it'd be a good combo, especially at nighttime. I used to have the Bonfire Bash body lotion last year that I used in the fall at night and it was so amazing. I smelled like a marshmallow before going to bed. So I'm gonna use this mainly in the nighttime. The notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So again, that beautiful marshmallow um, cashmere scent, amazing for nighttime. So I'm gonna use that in conjunction with the apple cider donut. And then a few of the other random things. I am putting in the Tree Hut pumpkin spice latte scrub. I am so excited to use this one, you guys. It smells amazing. If you are a pumpkin spice lover, even just a spice lover, there's not too much pumpkin in this. You would love this one. I got it at Ulta and oh my God, I'm so excited to use it. This is gonna be great for all the cozy fall shower routines. So I'm so excited to start using this one. It is unused. Actually, no, I used it once. I did test it out once. So it's basically unused. So we're gonna try and finish this up this fall. And then I am putting in a just random one-off of Midnight Amber Glow in the little mini Fine Fragrance Mist. I wanna see, I wanna get a feel of if I like this or not because I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with it and need it in every single form they offer. And if that's the case, I need to try it out and make sure I actually love it first. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out for the next like month or so and just see if I like it. I wanna see how much progress I can get on it if I do fall in love with it. Um, and then I will know if I wanna buy it in more variations. And then I am also putting in two little hand creams. I know I said I was working on 
the um, peppermint essential oil as a hand cream, the essential oil body lotion as a hand cream, but I did want to put these two in since they are fall focused. So I have champagne, apple, and honey as the first one. Like I said, I love this scent. It is amazing. It reminds me of fall and it's the perfect like transition into fall scent when it's still kind of hot and you don't want to be bothered with like a latte or like a pumpkin scent. That is perfect. And then the next one I have is white coconut caramel. I just picked this up like last week at Bath & Body Works, but I really want to get some use out of it. And honestly, I'm going to put it on right now because I'm just curious. But yeah, I will be using that one up this fall. That's pretty good. Okay. And the last two things that I have are perfumes. And I finally got my hands on the Kaoli Vanilla 28 perfume. I have just a little tiny mini one and I'm gonna be testing it out and seeing if I fall in love with it. I'm, I'm already in love with it and I've only used it like two times, but so far we are right up here almost at the top. I'm not gonna mark this one because it's so pretty. So we're gonna try and get use out of that one. And then I did get this free one from Sephora. This is the Replica Autumn Vibes um, Eau de Toilette. I didn't actually pick this one, they just like sent it randomly, but it smells amazing and I think it's perfect for fall, especially for like a pumpkin patch or like um, carving pumpkins going out when it's cold out, going to like a rooftop, the rooftop cinema club and watching Hocus Pocus, like whatever you wanna do. This is gonna be, I think, the scent for doing that. It smells like a plaid flannel, like it's very unisex. I could definitely even see Ryan wearing this and loving it. It is amazing. So super excited for this one. Like I said, it just, oh, it just smells like flannels. Okay. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below. What are you looking forward to most using this fall? Which new scent do you want to use or old scent you're trying to use up? I honestly don't have a lot of new scents in here from this year. So We'll see about getting some of those later on in the fall, but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.